Yo, man, what's good, man? Today we finna react to vegans versus meat eaters. What is the right diet? You feel me? Me personally, I'm a Muslim. You feel me? So I believe anything is good for you as long as there's no pork involved in it. You feel me? So anything, you feel me? Including, I'm not gonna say processed foods. You feel me? I want to stay away from that. But if you are gonna indulge in it, I believe it goes deeper than just that. You feel me? Just in your diet. You feel me? I believe it goes with exercising. You feel me? How much you consume those things, you feel me? And going out in the sun, you feel me? How much water you drink, all of that, you feel me? I, b I believe it's more than just your diet, you feel me? So that's why I don't believe it's a problem with eating meat. From a moral point of view, even from a moral point of view, as long as you're not killing it just to kill that animal, just kill that animal, I feel like it's okay, you feel me? Because it gives you energy, you feel me? Like, if it wasn't meant for us to eat, we wouldn't be able to eat it, you feel me? Like, what's not meant for us, wouldn't, like, it's like how we're not... We can't consume poison, you feel me, or we'll die. You feel me? Like, that. that's how I look at meat, you feel me? It's not killing us. It's usually people, I, I look at it like this. Usually the people who eat meat, you see that they don't diet right. They don't go outside. They don't drink water. So it's, it's not really the meat that's killing them. It's the poor attributes of not getting their body flowing, their, you feel me, their blood pumping. They don't, their heart rate is probably either too high or too low, you feel me? So it's like their body doesn't regulate. You feel me? And that, that's usually causes a lot of problems. It's not really the diet. ...in your body. Dead, carcass, pain, suffering, fear. Can I have all of my vegans go into that pool of light and my non-vegans in that pool of light? First statement, taste plays a big factor in my eating choices. I mean, let's be real. I mean, the, the taste usually has a factor in a lot of people's taste choices. Now, what I will say on that, you feel me? Again, you got to be disciplined in how you eat, you feel me? Like, if I got a taste for, you feel me, fried chicken, you feel me? I ain't finna go crazy and you feel me, eat five drumsticks, you feel me, and five flats by myself, you feel me, I ain't, I ain't finna do all that, you feel me, I might get, you feel me, two drumsticks, two flat. and I ain't even gonna say that, probably about two and two and one, you feel me, maybe three at the most, you feel me, That that's usually how much chicken I eat, I don't, I don't really overeat, you feel me, like, I don't do all that, but the point is, you feel me, like, I don't, you don't overeat just because you have a taste for it, you feel me? You still should. And then on top of that, you should balance it with sides, you feel me? With fruit and vegetables, you feel me? With water, you feel me? That's it, bro. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge thing for me. I think it's one of my weaknesses, actually. Like butter, salt, it's one of my weaknesses. <laughs> I love food. <laughs> and I think my relationship with food actually deepened when I became vegan. I don't think I appreciated it as much as I did before I was vegan. My name is Aubrey Davis, and I have been vegetarian for 24 years and a vegan for 13 years. I believe that humans are the top of the food chain. Is a human at the same level of equivalence as like uh, a fish? Right. Is probably a big reason why I'm not vegan anymore. Right. Because I didn't, I could, I didn't see that I had to see myself at a moral equivalent of a fish. And, and it gets into moral questions like, you know, why should we have a pet that's a dog rather than eat the dog? And I think the most important. I don't even believe that there is a food chain. You feel me? Like I, I believe. It's all about eat or get eaten. You feel me? I believe a predator can be a prey and a prey could be a predator. You feel me? Like if you look at the mongoose and the snake, you feel me? Sometimes that mongoose eat the snake. Sometimes the snake eat the mongoose. You feel me? Like that's how I look at it. Alligator and a snake. Sometimes the alligator eat the snake. Sometimes the snake eat the alligator, bro. Like it, it ain't really no exact food chain onto anything. You feel me? Like I don't believe there is a food chain. The question is, why should I love my neighbor rather than eat my neighbor? My name is Steve Michelski. I was a vegan for a year. I was a vegetarian for two years. I'm a meat eater now. I've been so for over five years. Like, I don't even see like, what is like a food chain? You know what I'm saying? That's just some construct some guy made and put a little diagram and put us human beings in the top, so. I don't think it's a question of whether we're at the top. I think it's a question of what do you do with that? If you have, 
a more conscious energy than an animal, what do you do with that power? Mm. Do you choose to take a life or do you choose to live in love? I put a lot of thought into my meals. The way I support my body and my health is extremely important. I don't find that I can function. I, I say this, I don't really put a, a lot of thought into it. I put thought into it. Like, obviously, I think about how much I'm finna eat, but I don't really, like, you know, some people go to the extremes where they scale it out. They look at how much calories they finna eat and this and that, you feel me? I don't really do that. I usually go by the eyes. You know that my eyes, what's that? What's it What's it called? The 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 eye test. I, I go off the eye test. Like I, I, like, I know my body. Like, I'd be like, that's too much or... You feel me? That's not enough. Or I need more of this. I need more of that. I, I usually go off that. You feel me? Like, but I'm disciplined to know to not get more than what I actually need. You feel me? I go off the eye test. I don't go off the the, the, the extreme shit. Not my best, either healthy, productive, emotionally stable, uh, or intellectually capable, unless I have a lot of proper nutrients in my diet. Six years ago, I became vegan because I got sick. I started to realize that my health was directly attached to what I ate. Since then, my friends and family have supported me to feeling better, and I'm better than I was before I got sick. Uh, I don't really like cook or anything, so <laughs> I don't really put too much thought into what I eat, I guess. I live a fast pace, kind of like I'm working late nights or I'm waking up early, so sometimes it's easier to grab this quick processed sandwich or I wish I planned my meals out more. I, I think I would be a lot, I would feel a lot better. I think it's really powerful, no matter what you're eating, to put your intentions into it, whether it's prayer, invocation, and there's just such great power and presence versus just like scarfing something down. But like hey, I agree with that, you feel me? Because I believe, like, I mean, you should pray over anything you're eating, but I believe a lot of people, they feel like they're doing it justice by not eating meat, you feel me? But they don't realize, you feel me? That that plant is dead too and before that plant died it released a toxin you feel me that that can also be poisonous to some people you feel me that's why you're supposed to cook a lot of your food you know sometimes bro but at the same time you feel me like you're not overly doing justice by not killing that cow and eating grass you feel me like i'm trying to be funny but that, that's real stuff right there bro it's like you're not really doing no justice you feel me like that's why i say as long as you're not eating pork you feel me because god said not to eat pork eat it you feel me because like can i just really be present with this meal take my time and chew it slowly so that's the first thing that i uh, resonate with and what i choose to do i would kill an animal i think there'd be tons of context where i'd kill an animal like if a if a lion's going to go kill a baby i'd probably kill an animal i'd kill an animal to save a human life and i get the vegans probably wouldn't do that if I could do something to prevent killing them, besides eating them, like if I was protecting myself and we had to, we had like a, something that we. I mean, yeah, I mean, I would kill an animal. Like, if, like I'm in Indiana, you feel me? We got coyotes and shit here, bro. Like if a coyote was finna attack my family, bro, I'm definitely shooting that coyote, bro. But on the same time, you feel me? Like, say we say the, the world crash and there's no more supermarkets. We can't go there and, you know, get the food, you feel me? And we had to actually hunt and gather our food. I would hunt and gather. You feel me? I, I, I would definitely kill an animal. You feel me? There's rabbits around here. There's deer around here. I'm, I'm de I would definitely hunt. You feel me? Like, I don't, you feel me? As long as my intentions is pure behind it, I'm killing it to either protect or, you feel me, enrich my body with nutrients, then there's nothing wrong with it. What we could do to get that animal away, I would definitely try to not kill it. I mean, I, I feel like... If it like comes down to you or the animal, you killing the animal? I would. I would. <laughs> no, they're, yeah. they're, they're going to give up their life for the fish. Why is it always the extreme case when talking about would I kill an animal? Well, like, yeah, exactly. if you were in a the situation... There aren't lions running around downtown L.A. When I was into hiking, there's there's mountain lions that come and kill... And... I mean, there's not lions, but that's like what I said. I mean, that's not an extreme. You feel me? Coyotes are definitely out here all the time. Foxes. Or out here, or even a raccoon, you feel me? Like, th these are animals that you see every single day, bro. Like, it, it will depending on where you live, you feel me? But regardless, you're definitely encountering an animal every single day, you feel me? So, in the extreme cases, okay, I say it's extreme that you would have to kill it, but if it came down to it, would you have to kill it? Yes. 
and kill people. You've known that, right? Yes. That's in Orange County, totally. right? That, that's, not, that's not in the jungle it's in Africa. It's not an everyday situation uh, 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 but, of but, but, would you kill an animal? But, but it's in Orange County. <laughs> Mountain lions have killed hikers, kids. Totally. Would you just let them uh, no, let the kid yes. die? We're hiking in the mountains, and there's a mountain lion. Uh. I have to be aware of the fact that I'm in mountain lion territory and be like, I'm okay with the risk. Because to be honest, I'm not hiking with a gun. I have no way to defend my friend. You don't, you don't hike with a hiking pole? I mean, a hiking pole hike, against I a mountain lion? I, I don't think you're winning. I just, I just want to say, like, e even if I did, and even if my attempt were to be successful, I would feel awful having killed the mountain lion. Well, well your, your feelings are your, your foundation then for your beliefs. A hundred percent. Are human beings animals? Yes. Yes. Sure. Would you kill another human being to save another human being? Yes. What yes. makes one person more valuable to, to another? Is it your relationship to that person? It would, yeah, it would probably be. So if, for example, I raise an animal in the wild, it's like an animal I've built a relationship with, and that animal now threatens the life of a human being that I don't know, but I've known that animal its entire life. What makes killing that animal as just cause okay as opposed to saving that life? I have, a, I have a longer relationship with that animal. Why would I kill the animal before I'd save that person? See, 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 because I, it's you, about you, relationship. You, you, you kill a person over an animal. That's Correct. Just, I, yeah. Because I believe human beings are animals. Now, I see humans at a different level, but maybe you value fish <laughs> at the same level as a person. I, we see it very different. I do. It costs more than it should. That's crazy healthy. shit, bro. You, who would just say he compare a fish to a human? It's more expensive to eat healthy. I don't think it's too expensive. Farmer's market is something that I'm trying to frequent more. But sometimes, you know, you can go spend $20 here and definitely not get as much. Um, I definitely want to see that. You know, maybe that'll encourage people to eat a little healthier. If you can go grab that fresh fruit, those fresh veggies for five, 10 bucks, you know? I think uh, our culture as a society is just, I mean, it's not really more expensive, you feel me? Like, think about the things we buy that's unnecessary, you feel me? Like, we, we buy unnecessary clothing, You we buy unnecessary accessories. Like, he got glasses on right now, nothing wrong with that, you feel me? If you like it, get it, you feel me? I'm just saying, look at our day-to-day -day life that's not too expensive, you feel me? Like, I'm pretty sure he got probably an iPhone, you feel me? I'm pretty sure he got a smartphone, you feel me? Like, look at the things that we use, you feel me? Like, groceries are not too expensive, you feel me? It's all about priorities, you feel me? So that's how I look at it, you feel me? Like you can complain and say they're too high and too expensive, but it's really not when you could go out and buy the latest iPhone 13, that's a thousand dollars, you feel me? So in great towards like the fast food culture of just cheap and, and accessible. But now I think we have more of a established like medical basis on what's healthy and what's not healthy. And to get that content and to have it be tasty as well is, is expensive. I'm running in. I have so much to say. It does not cost more money to be vegan. That is a myth. It takes planning. Yes, the convenience is less. Can you grab a hamburger at McDonald's? For sure, for 99 cents. But can, how much lentils can you buy? The issue is capitalism. Like that is what is keeping us where we are. It's not that humans are smarter and they're gonna come up with this technology. The technology exists. It is there. We can feed so many people. It is capitalism and factory farming. And most of these companies that are selling us products that are like shitty food, they don't give a fuck about no. you no. at all, okay. period. Someone's sitting on an island somewhere. Oh yeah. Like just stacking bread. And they're probably this fast food shit. eating really healthy food too. Yeah, yeah they're probably they're eating there. real good. They probably don't touch products. Products. Yeah. They're not eating any of that shit. You go to certain neighborhoods, certain areas, you don't see the same fast food. You don't see no. the same restaurant. Mm -mm. And it's all for a reason. You know, Accessibility. It's, it's, I mean, yeah, that's a good point. It's like they don't have, why is there many health food stores in the hood? How come exactly. I can't like get an option? Why is there a liquor store everywhere? Exactly. And it's true, it's like you have to, when you break it down, there's like malicious intent to deharmonize and like lower the vibration of certain people in sure. certain areas. And it's like, that's a part of it too. It's like, what am I contributing to? True. I'll say this, you know, when I was 11 years old, my father passed away from his second heart attack. He was diabetic. He was pissing out of a tube. I watched him deteriorate my youngest year. Hey, I, I don't want to get off that 
fact what he said, you feel me? They do do that, you feel me, in the hood, you feel me? Like, they do try to weaponize a lot of things, you feel me? How he's talking about there's no, a lack of grocery stores and there's a whole lot of liquor stores and this and that. That's why, that, this is kind of off topic, you feel me? This has nothing to do with this, but I just want to throw this out a little side note, you feel me? This is why black people and more minority people, we need to come together, bro, and realize, and get out of this race war, this gender war, all of this wars that we're in for no reason. We need to get out of that, you feel me? Because it's not about us, bro. They're trying to keep the poor poor and the rich rich, you feel me? It has nothing to do with skin color, bro. I just want to throw that out there. Here's my life. For like years and years, just deteriorate, taking pharmaceutical drugs and just kind of basically dying slowly because of what he chose to eat. To me, I'd rather spend an extra dollar <laughs> in either organic or something healthy now and live longer than try to cut corners when, you know. I'm with you. In like, the make end, the choice now instead of later. In the because end, my mom was the same thing. Yeah. She died. She, she was eating buckets of ice cream mm. when she passed away. She died at 49 years old. Wow. Now. Choose now. The more education that we can put out there, just like stuff like this is beautiful. That's what I was most anxious about, mm -hmm. is learning more of what I'm trying to step into. I don't know if I'll ever give up chicken. I'm just gonna be honest with you, I don't know. I wanna eat a lot cleaner chicken. Do you guys have like cheat days ever? Hell no. <laughs> I am vegan 100% at the front line, at the- Yeah, vegan is more of a lifestyle. You can't really cheat that, bro. It's, it's not like just no ordinary, like vegetarian, that's more of like a, it has more to do with just your diet. Vegan, that's a lifestyle. They don't wear nothing, clothes like they're, the shirt can't be fa you be the, from the same fabric as an animal. You feel me? It's, that's a whole different level. You feel me? So I believe what she's saying. Ethical reasons always, always, always. And that's why I don't think in 24 years I've ever gone back. It was hard to try new things, things I didn't like. Found tons of vegan food that I was like, oh God, what the fuck are you people eating? <laughs> and then simultaneously realizing that there was options. You know, there's always choices and it's always choices you make. Like you said, you may never give up meat um, fully but it's like you're making a choice. You're at least thinking for yourself and making a decision. And like, that's all you can ask people to do is think for themselves. I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank you no problem. Thank so you. much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, man, that's the end of that video. But I just want to get my final thoughts, bro. I don't believe that one is better than the other. You feel me? I believe it's all about how you exercise. Because as you can tell, the vegans, they're, they look like they're in pretty good shape. And the meat eaters, they i don't know they got on long sleeves and stuff like that so i can't really see but what i can tell is it has nothing it has a lot to do with it but at the same time it's not the end all be all behind your diet it's a, more about exercises dieting and how much you consume these things you feel me but that's just me you feel me do what's best